Greetings gamers, welcome back to the man cave, Jim the Viking here. Now I wasn't sure I was going to make a video today, but here it is, I've done a little bit more research after a very long night shift, a very good sleep, so I was really reinvigorated to get back to things. Now, I'm still waiting for the steering wheel, for the Logitech G29, the delivery is probably not going to end up until later on this week, so I spent the time doing a bit of research. Now I'm keeping this video very short and sweet, just to give an update about certain research that I've done when it comes to rigging up my setup with webcams, and that was a little bit of a challenge. How do you want the webcams? Where do you want to be able to fit them and all that? So my thought finally landed on something that I think is more aesthetically pleasing rather than anything else. So a game I play a lot is Elite Dangerous, and it sort of looks like this. For those of you that play it, you know the UI and it's the bright orange that it comes with. So I was thinking of getting myself two of these. The Havit HV-N5086 webcam. And I was thinking of putting up one up there and then one over on this screen. Now the little bit more complicated setup to do the streaming with uh, applications like OBS, so the open broadcast software, when you're doing Twitch, is that I was also going to get me one of these, and that is the Genius Widecam F100, it's a 12 megapixel USB 2.0, 1080p full HD, and it's an ultra wide angle webcam. Now, it's a little bit of a low budget fix, but I was thinking if I have two in front, so I have two from each side, I can probably point one down so it's aimed toward my uh, joysticks, my rather my pedals, whatever I want so I can show the action sequences. And from that bit, I don't even have enough screens to do this properly, but from there I was thinking of getting that so hang on I'm not done yet with the explaining right behind me and yes the uh, the man cave is still looking like a mess so behind me on this chair rig up this ultra widescreen so yeah you'll be seeing my bald spots and seeing me aging over the next couple of years how the hair slowly goes away but that way you'll have a good wide view so you get something like this just behind me smart angle so you get the the full widescreen effect if you should be looking in on me on Twitch. Now, I've only done a few streams on Twitch before so this isn't something that I'm uh, fully familiar with yet. I um, hope to become a little bit better than that. And um, to be able to control the um, thing I've been thinking of getting one of these which is another SciTech add-on, so that's more for flying, but it has enough flicks and switches so that you can easily jump back and forth. So all I have to do is, on my joystick hand, when I'm having it here, I can just reach forward and swap whatever it is I need to swap to, and then control, so add feed from this camera, add feed from that camera, do double feed if I activate both of them, Probably something I will have to code in a little bit in the OBS software, but since it's an open source, it should be able to handle all of that. Or at least that is my plan. Now, let me know what you think in the description below, and I do apologize for sounding so hoarse and so rough, but I'm on a very, very long stretch of night shifts just to try and get everything sorted with my man cave before Christmas or before the end of this year. I'm planning on having a really, really fantastic 2016, and I hope you do too. Until next time, peace.